हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू नेचर टॉक्स पॉडकास्ट आई एम योर होस्ट टुडे आयशा एंड वी हैव अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग गेस्ट टुडे जॉइनिंग अस ऑल द वे फ्रॉम फ्यूचर फ्रॉम द ईयर 2100 थाउजेंड सो मिस्टर रेड फेस वाई यू हेयर हेलो एवरीबॉडी आई एम मिस्टर रेड फेस एंड आई हैव कम फ्रॉम द ईयर 2100 and 3 so in the year 2103 uh, delhi is completely treeless there's no trees left and uh, yeah the environment is really bad so i've come from the future to this uh, this date and this time so that we can have this podcast and we can talk about what all mistakes are being made just now which are destroying the environment right now what uh, like what does the future look like uh, the future is really grim because of your fault <laughs> not literally your fault but people of your generation or the people alive in your time they are using so many plastics they are cutting the trees even your politicians are you know not actually saving the environment they're focusing on business and economy more than the environment so in the future people's lives are Are quite destroyed, and uh, yeah, it's really bad over there. The air pollution is so much. What's the air pollution condition of the of that era? Well, it's uh, actually not breathable. So now, in the future, people have pipes uh, surgically implanted into their chest so that they can get fresh oxygen from machines because there are no more fresh trees. artificial oxygen. You mean? Yeah, fresh artificial oxygen. made by mixing chemicals and uh, also there's no food in the future so the food which you're eating right now all this kind of food finishes after a few years because of the way things are going and in the future we are eating only stuff which comes in a tube so like you're enjoying apples we get apples in tubes and you're enjoying so there is no soil in future yeah there is no soil it's all cement so nothing can grow in the future so we actually our entire country becomes one big block of cement and inside that it's just one big huge building owned by one person and everybody drives their cars inside that they're still using pollution pollution causing vehicles which is not good for the environment and that's why i've come here to warn you that you need to change that right now because It's, yeah, it's uh, not going to turn out well in the future. Your grandchildren, their children, they're all going to suffer a lot just because of these bad choices. So we need to save the environment as much as we can. And you said there's everybody is driving cars over there, like even for a very short distance. How are the? What's the fuel condition? The fuel. Yeah. Well, the dinosaur fossil fuel got finished. Like few years after you, after this podcast, but uh, after that we started u- using human fossil fuels. So all the humans which have been compressed in the ground over the years, we start using them as fuel to uh, power our vehicles. Also, like uh, the human civilization, you know, uh, babies at the age of I think two or three years old. we uh, download their memory into a hard disk and because the human body can't survive the atmosphere anymore and then and how that, is the human body surviving without the food and the supplements like you said that you all guys are dependent on supplements yeah so those uh, so your memory gets downloaded into the computer then we put it into a robot and that robot moves it around that robot needs fuel so it gets fuel from uh, tubes a food that tastes like different things so and you have never seen a tree like even a plant or anything you have never seen such no, greenery even, even these uh, leaves around this podcast mic you know uh, seems weird to you yeah we don't get to see this anywhere we don't even see the artificial leaves because it's gone out of style right now it's just cement everywhere and is there any preferable area or a, like portion where or a different planet where you guys would have Uh, yeah, discovered like life a lot of the human civilization left earth they went to live on the moon some of them went to live on mars 
because so there is life on moon and mars now yeah because there is no trees over there and as long as you are living as a robot your memory is downloaded into a microchip so that microchip gets to live on these uh, trees with no planet i'm saying trees with no planet cement planet, planet with no trees, trees. Yeah. yes i got it So, like, if we don't do the like, if we don't convert the human into the uh, robot, what's their lifespan? The human body can't live more than like two or three years because of all the pollution. So, it's only possible to live as a robot, and then uh, to create new um, new creatures, new uh, members of our society, we have to fall back on science and test tubes. so human babies are getting born in test tubes and from there they live for 2 3 years the memory gets downloaded to the computer and they live the rest of their life as a robot what about animals do you see any any animal no there's no such thing as animals what's an animal <laughs> you must have seen a few now that you are here you have you, have, you yeah, must I, have seen birds you must have seen cats dogs yeah yeah these we have a lot of animals these flying things we call them drones no these aren't the <laughs> drones these are the creatures these are natural yeah. creatures these are birds yeah we don't have any birds in the future we just have drones and those drones are controlled by the the motherboard the main computer which controls all the life that motherboard is controlling those drones to um uh, go around and pick up the garbage and pick up things which can be uh, reused because like we have reached the end of the line and uh, when we trace back we found out that 2023 was a major issue because you know mother nature showed us so many different tragedies catastrophes natural disasters uh, floods heat waves and water shortages but nobody got the clue and they kept doing business and without focusing on the environment without sustainable development and they destroyed everything so that's why it's important to uh, save whatever you have right now especially for the future generations they should not have to uh, pay for all the uh, wrong things that you guys have done i think my heart is going to fall down <laughs> Yeah, I don't have any hands, as you can see. I'm from the future. I'm a robot, <laughs> and uh, they all call me red face back there. Yeah. What's the water condition in in future from your era? Oh, there's. Do you see water? Water bodies? No, no. There's no. There's no more water. The only water we get to see is uh, in the tears of baby's eyes, <laughs> just before it's going to die. So that's the closest thing we get to see to water. Besides that, we get to see pictures and videos, you know, from. Uh, like you have had evidence of this era, no? Yeah, we found all your uh, TikTok videos. <laughs> we found all your, uh, you know, different gadgets and things hidden in the soil, because uh, there was like lava everywhere. Many people uh, got burned. Many people drowned. all sorts of natural disasters now that you have seen both the eras you are from future you have seen how the world is in future it's completely as you said it's completely dull grim without trees without birds and now that you are here and you have seen the this era where we you can see greenery you can see animals which you didn't see any uh, any sort of animal in your time which one do you think is better and which one we should like opt for yeah definitely like life is better right now and it's uh not going to get any better it's only going to get worse but right now is the time where you have a choice to make a change make a difference and it's uh, everybody's uh everyday life decisions which are going to make a difference to not choose plastics to not pollute to not cut trees you know not destroy the environment we even have a like as you said not to cut trees we this yesterday was raksha bandhan and we celebrated raksha bandhan by tying rakhis to trees we collaborated with the school we are trying to save animal uh, environment okay. the the most we can 
so we ask the children over there to pledge to save uh, trees we ask them we encourage them to hug a tree feel a tree so yeah we, we should like we should do more such campaigns i got what you are trying to say uh, like it's us who is responsible for all the disasters that that is happening and only we can we can step forward take actions to control all these yeah. and uh, trees are really important like people are not understanding how do you feel not having a like artificial oxygen now you are not getting the fresh oxygen in my nose so how does that feel how how is that different from from uh, your time well it's not artificial so that's good and uh, who's that oh, you have a teammate man yeah that's <laughs> That's my teammate. Yes. She's not coming in the podcast today. She might get. She. she yeah. It seems like she's scared of you. I think uh, everyone can see her picture in the newsletter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, she's a little camera shy, but we'll get her somehow. Okay. So it was nice having you, and as we all heard him saying that uh, it's it's our. duty it's our responsibility to take actions and save our environment the most we can because this is the only time where we can like take actions and save it because uh, in future all this this is all just going to be destroyed yeah, it's going to look like the surface of the moon so without trees dull grim and yes. that's why without have animals to live because it looks like the surface of the moon there's no air no trees no shade nothing it's all concrete everything is underground no direct sunlight also because there is no ozone your skin burns off uh yeah it's really really bad so we got to save what we have and uh yeah more people should listen to this podcast so that they can share it around contribute to nature saving and environmental yeah. saving more people need to listen to this message from the future i've come to warn you all before you make these big mistakes and uh, yeah everyone should subscribe to this channel also <laughs> that's the only way to save the human civilization i think There's so much good stuff being spoken on this podcast so we need more viewers to listen to this stuff and maybe in a parallel universe this uh, human civilization gets saved or let's see because of me traveling back in time maybe it gets saved now All right so yeah. thank you for coming over here and talking with us thank you for sharing your ideas how we can save and what all we can do and yeah, yeah. thank you so much for having me all right so thank you for watching the podcast uh, do subscribe like share and uh, do yeah. continue to watch our more podcasts in future